We've been here a few times in the last couple months. I think it's three times in the last three months. And we're so happy to be back. Let's give a round of applause for Brooke Nichols kicking off the night. Pretty fancy day. And we know the real reason why you're here tonight, and we're okay with it. Are you guys excited to worship the Stuckfield? It's been eight, two, eight years too long. We're Manitoba boys, we're from Winkler, Manitoba. We are the color. Yeah. And you know what? Like, with these, these two Newfound boys growing up in Manitoba, right close to us, man, they were a band that we looked to for so many years, and we were inspired by them. We worship together through their music, and we're so excited to be a part of this with them tonight. I'm gonna invite you to continue standing. We're gonna teach you a song, it's called Let It Be Love. Let's worship together. seven years, it's March 2012, that we did our first ever tour as The Color, and God has blessed it tremendously, and it's so interesting because when we started, we were young, and not that we're old, but we were younger. <laughs> we were younger, and life looked so different. I was the only one in the band that was married. Now all of us are married. And, uh, and there's really one word that describes the season of life that we're in right now best, and that is babies. Love I don't know if it's like we all go home at the same time. I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but uh, it's truly been incredible. Let me give you some context. James, right here, uh, this is his, what is this your 
This is your third, fourth show? Third show? This is his third show. Fourth show. Uh, since his daughter was born, they had their second child. He was Mike Brandy, just three weeks old. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. And Larry over here took a couple months off because he and his wife, Janelle, they welcomed their first little boy named Emery. And uh, he's three months old. It's pretty awesome. And uh, Tyson back there, he got the, he got there first. He's got two little ones, and he's got a little boy named Madison, and a little daughter who's just about one. Her name's Taryn. And so give him a round of applause for that. And then myself, my name's Jordan, and uh, my wife and I, her name's Gwendolyn. We, we welcomed our first in January of 2018. Yeah. So it's pretty crazy, but we went in the span of a year and a half, we went from having one child in the band family to six, so yeah, it's, it's nuts, but it's so good. And, and you know what, for my wife and I, the journey that we went through to get to this point was, was really interesting. We, we tried for four years before our little girl was born. And honestly, it was, it was really difficult. It was a really difficult journey where I found myself struggling with reality, like being on stage and, and singing these songs and talking about God's faithfulness and his character. And his love, and then going home, or going back to my bunk every night, just with this way of uncertainty, of fear, just not knowing what God is doing in the midst of our journey, or honestly, sometimes not knowing if he was, if he was even there. But, but our God is a God of miracles. And he was so gracious to allow us to be parents, we're so thankful for the season that we find ourselves in. And it was interesting because it was a really hard season, and, and I found myself thinking, when we were in the midst of it, I was like, if we can only get pregnant, then things will get easy. And apparent mistake number one, I know. <laughs> you get trapped in the, the cycle or season you're in, and, and the anxieties that I had just kind of shifted over, and it went from like wishing to get pregnant to like, oh my goodness, this is gonna happen. And uh, I started to think about the reality that I was gonna be a dad, and I was gonna have this little daughter. And I started to think about it, and I thought about my dad my grandfather. And I'm so, I'm so privileged and thankful to say that they have led with example. My, my dad is a godly man, a man that has lived with integrity. And there's honestly nobody in my life that's probably impacted me as much as him. And I start to think about my daughter and the reality that how I live and how I love and how I, I teach her, everything that I do is gonna influence the woman that she becomes. And there's a weight to that and a responsibility, and it's a privilege. But I started to think about how if I say something, and I do something different, she's gonna see right through me. There's no faking it. And regardless of how you view me or, or how I look in the eyes of the public, that means so little to me compared to the man that I am in my own home. And so we wrote this next song in this season of life. This is our prayers as a band, our prayers as fathers, to be the man that God has made us to be.
in the back. We'd love for you to check it out and support us. We appreciate every dollar that you're willing to spend to keep our ministry going. Um, but we have a couple songs that are not on the CDs that you're going to find on the table. And one of those songs we'd like to give to you tonight for free. And it is a song we just shared with you. It's called The Kind of Man. And so if you would like that, you need to come back to the merch table during the intermission or after the show. And we will tell you what needs to happen. Sound good? All right. One more song. The song's called Victory. What it talks about is the freedom that we have found. When we choose to live a life with Christ, you see, when we enter this world, we are human, and we make mistakes, and time and time again, we do not measure up to the example set by Christ, but when we invite him to be a part of our lives, the sin, the shame that we carry, it is God to be set free. In him we find freedom, amen? amen. And so we're going to sing this out, I'm going to sing a line, you're going to repeat after me and sing it with these guys, it goes like this. Yeah. You alone are my victory. You alone are my victory. Sing it out.